Good morning or afternoon, uh, grade four. Uh, today we will be looking at shape and number patterns. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, what are patterns? A pattern is when shapes, numbers, or designs are repeated over and over again. And as you can see in the examples up at the top right, uh, this is actually a picture of a, a coral that has been recolored uh, to make it easier to identify and see the pattern. Over to the left, uh, we have a sand dunes, uh, and it's created a pattern by the wind. And then down at the bottom uh, with A and B, do you guys notice any patterns in nature? What do you see? And if we look at this thumbprint down here, uh, it kind of looks like a spiral, and we can see that in waves and flowers and uh, cyclones. Okay, so patterns are things that repeat. Okay, we'll start off by looking at shape patterns. Uh, so we have, we started off with a rainy day, and then uh, we are happy, and we have love because we like the rain, and then the sun comes back out, and the weather pattern starts all over again, so the clouds come back, and then we have rain again. What is the next shape in this pattern? Yes, that is correct. It is another heart. The cycle and the pattern continues. Okay, if we look at the bottom, uh, we have starting off with one red square, and then that changes to two red squares, and it changes to four red squares. What is the pattern? that we notice. Okay, you might notice that one times two is two squares, and then two squares times two is four squares. And if we repeat that, four times two is eight squares. Very good. Hey, okay, number patterns. As we move along, we start off with four, eight, 12. What would be the next two numbers in that pattern. Let's use our skip counting skills and we get 16 and 20. What is our rule? The rule you might say, you could add four after each number. Okay, let's try another one. We have two, five, a blank, 11, 14, a blank. I'm thinking I might know what the answer is. What about you? Okay, eight and 17, very good. And what is the rule? Excellent. Yes, we add three after each number. Okay, now let's look at a challenge problem that you might see today. This one's a little bit tricky because we see a lot of numbers. Uh, so we might want to look at horizontal from left to right, okay? Uh, what do we notice between 17 and 22? I notice, what is the difference? Hmm, what number do you think goes there? Very good, 12. Okay, and then let's look at our horizontal. What is happening as we go from seven to 14? How much does that change? Okay, and if we add that same amount, will that get us to 28? Yes, okay, so what are the rules? The horizontal rule from left to right would be, yes, add five as you move from left to right. How about the vertical rule from top to bottom? How much do we need to add? Excellent, add seven as you move from top to bottom. Okay, you can fill in the rest of the chart, making sure to double check your horizontal rule, adding five as you move left to right, and your vertical rule, add seven as you move top to bottom. So double check, make sure all your numbers fit in there uh, and to make sure it is good to go. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much. Excellent job. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Good luck.